In today's video, we are going to see a polling functionality of a big blue button. So the idea behind polling functionality is to, uh, as a moderator, if you want to take some opinion from your uh, participants on a certain topics or uh, as a faculty during the classroom sessions or during the live classroom session, if you want to conduct a quick quiz uh, with your students or if you just want to ask them some impromptu questions and take their answers. So, so you can do multiple uh, multiple stuff using this polling functionality throughout your uh, uh, live classroom. So let's see how it is going to work. So I've already logged in to the green light interface and I'll be starting a meeting as a moderator. So to avoid the echo, I'll just join in the listen mode only. Only person in this conference. Okay, so so basically there are two ways you can have uh, uh, you can conduct a polling. One thing is while you are uh, um, taking a class, you can just ask them a question and then create uh, questions or create options for your uh, uh, students. Okay, so basically the polling functionality is available over here. So uh, first let me start a polling functionality and then I'll talk to you about uh, the ways in which we can do polling over here. The first thing as I have already talked to you, you, you it, during the call itself you can ask the question and if it is just a true false answer, the answer needs to be provided in true false or yes no, then you can just ask them directly by um, prompting them for true false. So before I start uh, true false uh, or before I start uh, poll polling over here, let me join in as uh, another user. So one of my colleagues is already joining on this uh, meeting, but uh, for this uh, demo sake, let me join in as another user as well. So I'll just copy the link and uh, I'll join in as a another user as well. So let's give this user a name as user1. Okay, so with this user1 also, I will be just joining in the listen mode only. webcam is not required okay so user one has also joined uh, my colleague uh, Shashank has also joined and uh, now we can start the polling so suppose uh, we just ask a question that uh, do you like big blue button okay. so that polling can be created and uh, you can just open the poll to all the users and uh, ask them to answer in either yes or no okay so when the poll will be uh, published so it will be available so and as a moderator you can also see how many users have already responded over here so as, as i can see sashank has already uh, chosen yes okay and uh, probably as user one also i'll choose yes now all the users have responded because I have only, uh, other than me, I have only two more users. So um, I can close this uh, poll and publish this polling results. So polling results will appear over here, as you can see. And another way is uh, uh, rather than asking the question over the call, you can upload a PPT about all the questions which you have. Okay, so. I can just go, go, go over here and uh, let me upload a poll here, poll PPT which I have created for this uh, demo purpose. So 
so this is another way so you can ask your questions in the form of or under a ppt and then you can give them the options as well like a can be b a can be yes and b can be no and the same way polling another polling can be conducted so suppose there is if you want uh, to conduct a custom poll where you want to give your own op created options Let's say for example if i go to slide 2 okay and i want to create the custom poll so i can create these options option 1 option 2 likewise i can create five options here and then you can ask uh, you can publish this uh, poll and the moment you publish it will be available to all your users so if i start the custom poll now so it is again available to the users and as you can see sashank has already selected option three probably as a user one uh, i'll just select option two okay and uh, yeah so pretty much uh, pretty this uh, pretty much that is it about the custom poll so you can create your own options and then ask your user to select the options and that gives you the answers as well so you as a moderator only you will be knowing who all are the users and which options they select so that way if you're conducting a quiz you know that okay who has answered the incorrect answer given an incorrect answer and who has given a correct answer so likewise this these polling features can be useful during your uh, live classroom session so that is about uh, today's video we'll see you in the next one thank you so that marks the end of this demo uh, for any relevant services please reach out to us at hello at the rate three softtech.com or you can directly visit our website www.3softtech.com